Hey little axolotls, welcome to another video or if you are new here, welcome to the tank. My name is Ezra and this is a space where I talk about what it is like as an adult healing from childhood trauma, along with um, what it is like at the intersections of gender, race, sexuality, a lot of those things. And today I wanted to make a little bit of a rabbit room tour, I suppose, because I mentioned it in, I think the previous video, I'm not sure, but I actually, I cleaned my room today and I thought, why not, seeing as though they tend to mess things up pretty quickly, uh, why not make a, you know, a welcome to my cribs style video for my rabbits. To start off with, I have two rabbits. I have a, what, what are his markings? And his, his a magpie, Harlequin Holland Lop, but his, his black and white magpie Harlequin Holland Lop. His name is Nimbus. I have had him for, I think, around about four months now. And he is his male. Um, he is neutered, so he's desexed. And he's currently, I think, 10 months old. I think maybe two, two or three weeks ago, I got Cirrus. And she is two and a half almost three months old and she is a mini lop probably cross something else and she is white but she's not um she's not an albino white rabbit she is a blue eyed white rabbit when it comes to my rabbits initially when i had nimbus he was he wasn't free roam he was in a hutch and if i have a photo i'll put it here but when it came to nimbus he was initially in a hutch once i got cirrus my, my room isn't huge but essentially I had like the hutch there and a little playpen on the floor for her so then they could not fight obviously because rabbit bonding tends to take a while or they'll completely hit it off the bat or whatever the saying is which the two of them did so I ended up folding up the pen because it was just one of those like um portable ones folded that up put that in the corner and now they have their own space to kind of hop around my room so they are free roam except for sometimes at night time um if my partner comes in and stays in in our room which sh she shifts between two rooms because polyamory but whenever she's staying in this room they tend to be in their little pen enclosure area which you can't see all of it at the moment because i've taken off the front panels which is probably the best thing to start off with when it comes to the welcome to my cribs i keep on seeing things like these and i thought okay well hutches are a thing of the past kind of thing and i want them to have a lot more space so i had this that's for their home base this is made up with multiple panels and you put it together with one of these things but let me show you around my room and some of the stuff that i've got out for them so regarding the size of you know their their, their area their free room area this is where my door is for a bit of context and my light ring obviously which cords and stuff they're always like covered up in my room but this is just because I'm filming this video uh my floor as you can see there's floorboards but I have a butt ton of like blankets and like an old sheet cover and things like that around so they've got their litter box places where they can like sit down um hay water just blankets and just like some toys and tunnels and some stairs and a little hideaway so that's pretty simple they've also got an outdoor run now that I've actually got things like set up where I'm sitting I wanted to show you a little bit of the toys and things that I have for them. I have a litter box, which I don't know whether it fully shows it in here, but most of the things that I actually got recently are from Amazon. I bought, all of them are kind of like around my room, but I bought these, which are, they're like numbered cups, but they're because they're like kids cups, like a whole bunch of like little baby playing cups. Cirrus loves to play with this one because her mouth like easily fits in this because she's got such a small little face but she likes playing with this. She like kind of like picks it up and like moves her head around. It's, it's very cute. I bought them a ASMR moment. I bought them this tunnel. It's like a wicker, wicker tunnel or whatever it's called. So they can also eat it, but mostly they just choose to like run through it and play in it. I think I got that one from Pet Barn or one of the pet stores here in Australia. Hi, honey. I have this now i bought this and a another hay feeder which again that's that's in and amongst the things that are actually in use at the moment but nimbus never used this so this is back when i first only had nimbus and he just used to tip this over so now he kind of he doesn't usually nibble on it which is another good thing about the two of them because i was kind of worried that if i left them 
free roaming in my room that they might nibble like the sideboards or the skirting or whatever it's called but they don't they don't like to chew, chew on wood which is good but also I'm like okay well what about these toys that I got for you but this is a hay, hay feeder initially and the second one which you clip on to the side of the cage that one's out of material though so I can wash it both of those were bought from the same place um which is in I think it's like one stop rabbit shop or, or rabbit I don't know it's it's in Kellyville in Sydney um they have an online store and they also have a not a storefront but you can like pick up from where the place is that these things are made I have this for them again it's kind of just like another one of those things that they can chew on I bought them a new enrichment toy the other day but this is by the company or the brand Living World there's different levels essentially like there's little still the same like blue plasticky thing but you can put them over things I'll insert a clip of Nimbus kind of figuring out how it works meanwhile Cirrus kind of just decides to watch him but then take the food that was in there while he's actually found it and mind you they're actually quite good they don't they don't fight over food and they haven't exhibited any of those behaviors Nimbus does tend to barge his like head in the way but not in like a fighting way more like I want this food you know move move out of my way so that's kind of that's been cute but I did do an online order with the shop in Kellyville the other week and I purchased I think it was two things from them one of them was this cute little blanket you can see it has these little grippy things on it which means that it sits on the floorboard and it doesn't kind of lift up especially when they're obviously going to be running up against it rather than this which will still slide around but it's better than actual floorboards because they don't have little grippy pads on their feet like cats and dogs do. The other thing that you might have already seen on my floor is this. This is something that is supposed to help with cooling um, when it comes to like it helps like naturally insulate their bodies with cooling because it is summertime here in Australia and weather can get up to 40 degrees outside. Our house is double bricked and it's not going to get that warm inside and obviously aircon but rabbits do not do well with heat so I purchased this for them to help them with that you can also do things like getting uh, water bottles and putting them in cloth or like a tea towel or a washer whatever the word is you can put them in that and it is also supposed to help them I'm by, by no means a rabbit expert obviously because I've only had rabbits for like a couple of months now I never used to own them as a child but these are things that I have learned from looking things up online, going on the subreddit for rabbits, those kind of things, asking around to a couple of friends just so I can kind of, I don't know, keep my rabbits alive and make sure that they have the best life I suppose that I can possibly give them. Also what I didn't show you is I got this cute little bed from Ikea. It's one of the like dolls beds but I, again it's one of those things I saw on Pinterest it's like look at it. And they like both sit up there well usually Cirrus does it's like one of her favorite things to just chill on and this is their litter box which I was trying to kind of show a little bit better before but I do tend to put their hay in there because rabbits usually poop while they eat so it's a lot easier though sometimes I put it in the hay feeder they can both fit in there and as long as they can both fit then it's completely okay I've looked into that but if she does get like a lot bigger I'll buy them like two separate ones and this is their water bowl so to speak so I don't have one of those bottles because apparently they're bad for their teeth but I do have this it's one of those automatic -y kind of ones so it you fill it up you put the bottle upside down it has like a little pin thing and then whenever the water here empties to a certain amount it'll just like stream it through I don't entirely know how the science behind that works hi honey hi food and things for my rabbits I do use these as their little like protein pellets and it says on the back like how much things should be for their treats which I showed before but they can hear me rustling these bags so Nimbus is circling my feet but I use these which it's called like peckish treats natural greens and they had their hay which is always you know in ample supply is hay I give them oat and hay they eat leafy greens I've been getting them to try fruits here and there because you're only supposed to give them fruit I think once every two to three days and again it's supposed to be in a small amount greens like I think it's dandelion greens and lettuce but specifically romaine lettuce not 
uh, not, the, not the lettuce that's really watery, but things like romaine lettuce, I think you can give that once a day. I know that lettuce definitely, dandelion greens, I'm not so sure because it can upset their stomach. They have tried banana. I'll put some clips in here. That's a favorite so far. They have tried apple. They also tried, you know, carrot. They like um, bok choy. What else have I given them? Oh, they have like broccoli stems and things like that, which they like. I tried capsicum actually for them the other day and they really liked that. So, and I guess I'll show you a video or a couple of pictures of what their outdoor enclosure is. And they kind of just hop around in it, but I only have them outdoors in their outdoor run between six and 11. I have a little umbrella parasol thing for them because Again, it gets warm and there's no complete like trees over that area until the shade comes through in the afternoon. I'll try and sit out there with them, especially now I'm trying to take some time off of my screen and do some more like art things and reading, stuff that I enjoy. So I want to sit out there with them like more often. And in the evening time, they're usually out there by themselves. I do feel completely comfortable with them out there by themselves because they do have a hidey hole kind of thing. They're not big into digging, so they don't dig under the fence. I check on them every now and then and I can see them from the uh, balcony thing. And that's usually only between like four and seven because that's when I go to bed because my partner goes to bed super early. Most of the time though, when I'm in here because I'm trying to bond as well, <laughs> you know, with them, but because they are together now, they literally just spend half the time underneath my bed. And I'm like, great. So I had one rabbit who was chilling around with me, but I wanted him to have some more company. I got him some company and now I've been abandoned. So they've both just reinstilled my abandonment issues. <laughs> no, it's, I like that. I like that they have each other. It's very cute. Like when they are grooming, grooming each other and things like that. It just, it, it warms my heart. I really like how quickly that the two of them bonded and that they are very similar to each other and can get along quite well. I'm, I'm really happy with that. And hey, honey, sorry about the lighting swap. I kind of don't want to <laughs> completely blind my rabbits, but this is Cirrus. She's gorgeous blue eyes and she's like so small. She's under a kilo because again, she's like, she's young. Whereas Nimbus is... 10 months old and I think he weighs 1.7 kilos but I will show you him and photos so you can see the, the difference in size even though they are both small breed rabbits. Given the fact that she is only you know she's two and a half months old and I don't know how much she's gonna grow basically. Hi baby but I will put her down and I'll show Nimbus to you and this is Nimbus. His like Cirrus's fur is very like soft and silky, whereas Nimbus's is very like fluffy and more like a cloud, or at least that's how I feel his fur is. He does have, usually we call him a unicorn because one of his ears typically is up and one's down, but he does kind of have lop ears, but not really. Like the shape of them is different. The shape of his face compared to her face is different. From what I've looked into, he's probably a Holland lop, but he doesn't like being held. Most rabbits don't like being held because they are prey animals and they don't like to be up off of the ground because that unsafe. But I will put him down because Cirrus is kind of like, where's my boyfriend? Thank you, baby, for letting me show you. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I think that's, I think that's all regarding my rabbits. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a change of, of pace, change of topic. I, I want to do what I want, I suppose. Like, not in like, I want to do what I want. And you've stopped me from doing that. I've stopped me from doing that. I want to do what I want and have chill, like casual, mellow videos like this, along with, you know, my uh, therapy, like post-therapy and mental healthy kind of videos. I just want to show this is what my life is like. <laughs> They're grooming each other. This is what my life is like. I have pet rabbits. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Um, keep suing little axolotl and always remember to be authentic, be accountable and be inclusive. And I will, we will, and perhaps my rabbits will see you all for the next video. Bye.